Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I have got a favourites video for you. This is one of my favourite videos to film. I really enjoy the chatty aspect of just going through things. It really feels like you're just sitting and having a chat with a friend. So go and grab yourself a cup of tea and get comfortable and then let's go and have a look at what I've been loving lately. So I've got some books for you. I've also got some TV series. I've got some like beauty products, some food items, lots of bits. These aren't necessarily all like brand new things that I've only just discovered but they're stuff that I absolutely love. So I want to start off with like a beauty item and it is these organic bamboo like makeup remover pads. They're just cotton pads and they come in this little box, like a little cardboard box. And basically you just use them to like apply your cleanser or your toner, take your makeup off with. And they're just really nice little soft pads. And the best thing about them is they're washable. So you get 20 in this box. Um, I'll try and leave everything that I can link down below. I got mine off of Amazon. I think they were about 10 pound. You get 20 in here. And then with it comes this little bag um, that you can pop them in when they're dirty. And then you can put them through the wash. The reason I'm laughing is because my little cotton bag has been eaten. As you can see, Hobbs got hold of it when I was drying it. I usually take mine out and lay them along the radiator. So I usually have like 10 of these <laughs> laid along the radiator. Um, and I put the little bag there and he got hold of it and ate it. But it is really nice. So it's good for the planet. It saves you money in the long run because you don't have to keep buying them. And they're just so soft and nice. And then when you wash them, they smell of your favourite washing powder. And then you get your little box to keep them in. So absolutely loving those i was after some for ages and it's one of those things i kept forgetting to order but i'm so pleased well i'm so pleased i did so that's my first item reusable organic bamboo cotton pads these are the greensla make if you're interested so i love those next up is a long running theme on this channel um i love coconut and i've recently discovered comforts perfume deluxe and this is coco fantasy it's a fabric softener, you all know what it is, don't you? And it just smells amazing. I bought it and people said, you're gonna love it, it leaves your clothes smelling really nice. And it's one of those where the scent, it like stays on your clothes, like you know when you move or you open a drawer or something, you just smell it. It's absolutely lovely. Oh, it just it smells like holidays. I, that's why I love coconut, because it just reminds me, it takes me back to places that I've been and holidays we've had and like, I don't know, sun cream and all that kind of thing. So absolutely love that and it's a really good price in home bargains i'm not sure if it's on offer anywhere else but home bargains it was about two pound 49 for quite a big one another thing from home bargains that i absolutely love and i have just used is this dead sea collection coconut scrub it's a mineral salt scrub and honestly it is it's literally like taking handfuls of wet salt and rubbing it all over your body but <laughs> it's all over me but your skin afterwards feels amazing. It's actually got coconut oil in it as well. It's dead sea salts and you rub it all over you and your skin, I always use it before I fake tan, which I have done today. Um, and I've used this, but it leaves your skin so soft and lovely. If you need a pick me up and even if you don't want a fake tan, I think this is about 99p, £1.19. Trust me, try it rub it all over give it a good scrub for a couple of minutes like with your hands into your body and then just rinse it all off and your skin you don't even have to moisturize afterwards it's so good and for the price i've had this for quite a while now like months and months um i think they might have even changed the packaging ever so slightly but i know they still do it because i saw it in there the other day i highly recommend it I highly recommend that no one else gets in your bath after you because it is literally like you've been at the beach and it does like coat your bath but it's really worth it and if you want a fake tan then this is a really good exfoliator so recommend that and it's always good to find something that's like a decent price do you know what i mean it's always easy to come on here and promote the big brands that are quite obvious that you're going to be good and people say oh i love this so much it's such a good product and you get really hooked and then they go and it's 35 pound and you think oh well i'm not buying that am i but when you see someone promote something or well, not promote when you see someone recommend something and then they tell you it's a pound it's like that's my kind of video so get yourself some of this and i'm gonna let you into a little secret this is a behind the scenes I've got my nice white blouse on, but because I faked tanned, I'm actually wearing shorts and they're actually pyjama shorts. So <laughs> I just thought I'd let you, let you know a little bit of behind the scenes of YouTube. I've got pyjama shorts on and a nice top. So, because I don't want to ruin 
my tan already so there you go another bath product is this imperial leather moonlit skies and white cashmere calming bath soak this is amazing it's just lovely for your bath there's not a lot else to say about it i think it's about 99p and it makes your bath smell nice and creates lots of bubbles but it's a really nice one so i recommend that as well so food well not really food is it um, I've been trying, if you follow me over on Instagram, you will know that I suffer from really bad insomnia and lately it's got a lot worse and I'm trying everything I can. There's loads and loads of you have messaged me on there and sent me tips and tricks on how to beat, like, waking up. I suppose I go to sleep, I have no problem falling asleep. I could literally fall asleep standing up because I'm so tired. But at 2 or 3 a.m. I wake up and then that's it. And that's it for the whole night generally or i will sometimes doze back off just before the alarm goes off at half six um but it's just too long sometimes it's one o'clock i'm waking up so i'll go to bed at like half ten i'll wake up at one and then that's it i'll be awake until i get up so it's not really enough sleep so that being said i decided to try some of this yorkshire tea bedtime brew obviously it's decaf and it's got hints of vanilla and nutmeg now i can't say hand on heart that it's helped me sleep but it's lovely it's really nice and do you know what it reminds me and my husband it's really strange we both said the same thing you know at christmas you get the stolen like little cakes that taste of like nutmeg and things it tastes like that like only faintly the same way that the biscuit brew only faintly tastes like malted milk biscuits but it's just something a bit different and it i don't know it's like christmas in a cup basically and um yeah i just really recommend it you can get it i haven't you can get it in i get it in tesco i think you can get it in sainsbury's or asda all those places and yeah i can't say that it helps me sleep but it definitely tastes good and you can't be a nice cup of tea that tastes like a cake <laughs> so recommend those my other item is this yo creamy japanese mayo now we watch sam the cooking guy on youtube a lot he's absolutely amazing he makes a lot of like really nice junk food like really high calorie not stuff you'd make all the time he supersizes things and that um but we do like watching him it's something we often watch with the boys like on a saturday morning when we get up we'll often put that on in the background because i don't think anyone actually watches like real telly these days do they it's not like do you remember like live and kicking and um what was it motor mouth and that i'm showing my age now comment down below let me know if you remember the saturday morning shows and what was it um the broom cupboard and all that kind of thing but i remember live and kicking there was another one and i can't think of it and i remember motor mouth but yeah i used to get up saturday morning and watch those but these days you just don't do you i don't know we don't we get up and put i don't know something suitable on so we watched sam the cooking guy i told you this was going to be chatty um he swears by japanese mayo he uses a different brand because he's over in i think he's in he's in san fran no i think he's in california not sure but he um he swears by this and i was like mm, yeah i don't really see the difference mayo's mayo and then we bought it and trust me go and try it you can get it in tesco it's in like the world food aisle and they've also now put it in the mayo aisle or the mayo section um and it's just it says rich and smooth japanese mayo is made using just the egg yolks making it luxuriously creamy and addictively tasty but it's actually got rice vinegar in it as well mustard seeds um yeah paprika extract extract and i just really really like it we have it on burgers steve makes like these chicken thigh burgers and um, we have it on that and you can just need a little bit because it's really really creamy but yeah if you like your mayo i highly recommend trying it go and give it a go and it's not that expensive it's probably a little bit more than you'd pay for like hellman's and that but not a great deal so i like that a lot so I'm going to go on to another beauty favourite, um, I needed a new moisturiser and I actually picked this up in Lidl but you can get it on Amazon, you can get it in Boots, you can get it in Superdrug, all those normal places as well. And this is the L'Oreal Paris Wrinkle Expert Day Collagen Cream and it's really affordable, I think I paid £4.99 for this which compared to some other creams is actually really good. Um, it's very nice to put on, I think the age, I think it actually says, yeah, 35 plus, I thought that was like something to do with how much collagen, that's actually like the age that it recommends because it puts the collagen back into your skin and it has enough that you'll need, they do like a 40 plus and a 45 or something, but it, I have very dry skin and it does moisturise lovely, but 
the best thing about this is the smell so it's it's really weird and it's going to be really odd to explain but if you've had a baby ever given birth that smell when your baby is first handed to you um, before they've had a wash before they've had any creams or anything mums you know what I'm talking about this instantly transports me back and not so much the, the my second two children but my first so Bailey who is now 15 I can't believe we've got a 15 year old um, he was born after 48 hour labour uh, by c-section and the second they handed him to me this is what I smell literally this and you know your olfactory responses or whatever <laughs> they take you back don't they like you can smell something and it takes you to a place just takes me to newborn babies every single time that just proper I don't know you've got to go and buy it now haven't you you're all going to go and buy it just to smell it just to see what newborn baby and see what you've got to let me know if you've got it and you've got kids or if you've tried it or if you do try it you have to let me know but it's a lovely cream it's really thick let's go back to the actual product why I bought it it's very thick it does moisturize nicely it lasts all day so I don't find I have to reapply it or anything but yeah it it's just newborn babies in a jar which is a really weird thing to say and everyone's probably just unsubscribed <laughs> I'm not putting newborn babies in a jar but yeah that's so that's the L'Oreal Paris Wrinkle Expert Collagen Day Cream newborn baby in a jar <laughs> so next up I've got a couple of TV programs I want to talk about the first one is The Queen's Gambit Now this is a mini series over on Netflix and it's set during the Cold War era and it follows the story of Beth who is a young orphan girl and she gets put into an orphanage and basically she learns to play chess and she very quickly realizes that she is like a child prodigy and it's a really deep emotional moving story when i read the synopsis i wasn't sure i was gonna like it but it really draws you in it's really emotional it's quite dark it deals with addiction and the effects of that there's also a lot of equality issues and it's really moving it's gripping me and steve binge watched it and i would watch it again and there is also a book of the series and i liked it that much that i'm going to get the book and read the book and the character of beth which is played by anya taylor joy was just amazing she played it so well her acting is phenomenal and it's a very empowering series as well it was one that when you finished it left you thinking and i still think about it now so definitely give that a go that's over on netflix the other netflix series that i absolutely love and we finished last night and i just want to cry was Kingdom and um, this is a story or this series is about um, MMA fighting and you might think that's probably not your kind of thing but it follows the story of Alvi Kalina who is a champion MMA fighter and he owns his own gym and it follows his story owning this gym he's got two young sons he's got an ex-wife who struggles with addiction his two sons are also both MMA fighters but they're both very troubled in their own way i just absolutely loved it it was such a good watch one of his sons was very psychotic and very over the top quick to fly off the handle hard to manage and then the other son which is played by one of the jonas brothers um was very quiet brooding moody but could also you know handle himself in a fight but he was never sure if that was really where he wanted to be going and yeah i finished it last night and if you like the things like i like um animal kingdom sons of anarchy peaky blinders if you like those kind of things then i definitely recommend kingdom and that is over on netflix as well and there's three seasons of that and i really think that that is it there is only going to be three because they kind of finished it and that last episode i watched last night that it kind of ended so bit gutted because I could watch that forever but really really enjoyed it so let me know if you've got any recommendations for Netflix stuff because now I'm in that horrible slump of I've watched some really good stuff and now I don't know what to watch next and last but not least I just wanted to mention two books that I have been loving so one of them is The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware I have recently read this and if you like thrillers or like chilling kind of novels then I definitely recommend it. It reminds me very much of The Haunting of Bly Manor so if you liked that it's like a modern day version which is really cool the way they've turned the house into like a modern setting. It follows the story of Rowan who takes a job at a remote house in Scotland and she's 
there basically to be a nanny to these children and then mysterious things start happening and she doesn't quite know whether she's going mad or whether there's more sinister forces at play so I can read a little bit from the back of it so when Rowan comes across the advert it seems too good to be true a live-in nanny position with an extremely generous salary what she doesn't know is that she's stepping into a nightmare one that will end with her in a cell awaiting trial for murder and it starts off telling you this so you know from the very beginning that she's in prison and she's awaiting trial for murder and then it takes you through the story and what happened and how she ended up in prison and then at the end there is such a huge twist that I didn't see coming and now it makes sense but at the time it was like wow you know I was really shocked if you like that kind of psychological thriller then I definitely recommend that that is Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware and my last book is The 12 Days of Christmas by Trisha Ashley this is just Christmas in a book it is one of my all-time favorite reads I read it every single year it follows the story of a young widow called Holly who's asked to look after a house up in Lancashire over the Christmas period so she says yes and hoping that she can spend some time completely alone although when she arrives she actually ends up getting snowed in with the owner and several other people and it's just so lovely they have to make do they can't a bit like this year really they can't get out to the shops they have to plan festivities and decorations and there's tensions and arguments like there would be if you were snowed in with someone but there's so much so much of it is about like the cooking and the things that they make and the Christmassy food and the Christmassy sitting by the fire and it's snowing outside and it's just lovely it's such a nice Christmas read and it really puts you in that cozy like curl up by the fire, bar of chocolate, cup of tea and read this book and I promise you, you will absolutely love it. I love loads of Trisha Ashley's books but this has to be my favourite. So I'll leave those linked down below as well but definitely if you want to get in the Christmassy mood then I recommend you try it. So that is it for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed filming it. I do feel like I've talked for ages. I always say I'm going to keep these videos really short to like about, I don't know, under 10 minutes and I can see that I've been speaking for a lot longer than that. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it and you like this kind of content, then please make sure to go and subscribe. I've got lots more videos coming up, more slow cooker meals, some Christmassy ideas. I've also got some more air fryer meals coming up. So if you like all that kind of thing, then go and hit subscribe. Leave me a big thumbs up and I'll be back really soon with another video. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.